Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're working with here is an entertainment box. This is an older version of the entertainment box from a few years ago. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to show you how to change Plex on an Android box to make it look like Plex does on an actual Android TV device like an NVIDIA Shield. But just to confirm that this is in fact an older version of Android, it says right here it's Android 5.1.1. And we'll show you one more thing to just kind of play at home here. It has the old version of the Google Play Store, or of course not the old, but this is the mobile Google Play Store, not the lean back Google Play Store. And that's very important to know so that you know that I'm not messing with you on this video. We're going to open Plex, and you'll see that Plex right now is in, like, the standard Android setup. This is Plex as seen on Android. This is some pictures from my camera uploads. I play a game called Monsters Legends that I enjoy. Ta-da! How's my multiplayer attacks team doing? Okay, so... That's my pictures, you know, you go into your settings, and, and here's all the settings. And in general, the version of Plex that you can put on an Android box, it's it's not terrible on a TV, but the thing is, it's a little wonky. I mean, you see right over here in the corner, it, you know, it gives you a chance to cast it, because this is a mobile app. Plus, the controls, like the on-screen controls, can be just a little more obviously mobile-centric. So, what we're doing here is we're going to show you how to change it so that it looks like it should on a TV. And this is really cool and really easy. You see that we're here in the settings, but just the review will go back. You go up here to the left-hand corner, and you're in the settings. And from settings, you want to go on down to where it says settings press whatever your OK is, and you notice these choices, you've got experience. Now while you're on the screen, if you're already signed on in, go ahead and click on sign in automatically. That will keep you from having to type your email in again. And go to where it says experience. Under experience, you see a couple of things. One of the most important things you need to be looking for, though, is the application layout. You won't see this on every version of Plex. In fact, if you're already on the TV version, it doesn't appear to be an option. Also, it isn't available on something like iOS. But Android, it looks like Plex is trying to help out Android users. So, you're going to click that, and you've got your two layout options, mobile and TV. Obviously, if you want to switch to TV, you're going to click on TV. And it says here that it will cause the application to restart. And we're going to go ahead and do that, right? And it looks like it did not restart, which is no big deal because there's an easy fix to that. I'm going to show you exactly what you do. We're going to exit going to go into our settings in this case we need to click on more settings we're going to go into our apps for some reason my system runs this as a Plex as a system app I figured it would be running apps or downloaded but we're going to go ahead and go to the end of the line here. Go into Plex. And we're just going to clear the data and clear the cache. You see that it's all at zero, but for some reason, right now it's making us do this. Once this has been old hat, it probably won't be necessary. So we go ahead and sign back in. And we're going to have to put our email in again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sort of pause the video 
and come back on the other side of signing into my email because who wants to watch all that anyway? All right, so we have signed in and now you see that everything sort of reset. It's, it's welcoming us. And what we're going to do is we're just going to skip the intro. And basically, we're almost going to be automatically prompted to make the switch. You'll see it'll just kind of come up on us. And there it is. So it says layout support. You are using a mobile layout, which is optimized for a small touch enabled screen. Do you want to switch to the TV layout instead? See, it looks like Plex has sent something through the system so that it realizes if you have one of these TV boxes hooked up. And that's really nice because up till now, it's always been based on, you know, you having something else. So we're going to go ahead and say switch to TV. And now you'll notice the sign in screen looks different. I'm going to jump in, and voila, now you're seeing an Android TV type experience for Plex. This is my watch later queue. I, I like wrestling, so sue me. But this is it. I mean, this is so cool. This has everything set up real pretty. Your channels work just like they do on anything else. If you don't use Plex channels, you should. You've got to add them through the web app, but they're really cool. So that's that. I hope you found that cool because I think this is really exciting and really great. Like I said, I think that Plex is trying to do something for Android users because there is a large community of people who has the Android boxes that don't have Android TV. And... There are a couple of apps out there that you can use on these boxes that work just great. And luckily, Plex is one of them. So, that's that. I, I hope you found that cool and helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Share this with your friends because there's a lot of Plex fans out there. And I want to help them. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends. Stream on, my friends.